Hey guys, it's Thursday and I'm going to be reacting to MDE rental car reviews from Million Dollar Extreme 3 um, and this is from January 2017. I'm going to have to learn this dance. Um, is this from the CEO Eric Hayden sketch? Or like one of the World Peace things? Oh my goodness. <laughs> he looks a lot like Danny Timberelli right there. A Dodge Journey. Can you climb that hill? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's Dodge Journey, and it's important that it's important that we wreck it. You get the shifter and action. Short shifter. No, short shifter. We know so much shifted. about cars that it's funny if we wreck it. $26,000 commuter cars that go to $4,600 in two years of the auction should be ridiculed. You want to do it one more time? It <laughs> should be ridiculed. I think I broke something. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this would be very funny in, like, real life. I'm going to teach you a Dodge Adventure getaway. <laughs> it's, it's still funny. I just... On Dodge Adventure Getaway, everybody gets a Dodge Journey. You get to do whatever you want with it for the weekend. <coughs> Living life like a renegade. This thing's got the sportiness of the <laughs> <made> best European. <laughs> Wait. Sorry. Um, I was just, uh, sorry, that was kind of a burn I just did. Like, um, no, I just, I don't know. Like, I, I'm sorry. I guess, critically speaking, like, this would be funnier if you were there, you know? But, um... I do like the, the Dodge Adventure and <laughs> like a red and gold. Um, okay. <laughs> it's, got the, it's got the chassis rigidity and safety of a Mercedes with the sportiness and responsiveness of a BMW. That's why I like it. That's the Dodge Journey has that. <laughs> but the sportiness of a BMW. I'll take two. <laughs> One for me and one for my son. <laughs> Brand new 2016 Corolla. Wow. Nick's new personal car. Go ahead and start that up. That's funny. I um I had a Corolla for a little bit. Not that new though. Um, but yeah, uh, Toyota Corollas I believe are like some of the best cars ever. Um. I don't know if Nick Rochefort's ever talked about carcomplaints.com, but there's a website, Car Complaints, and they have, like, a best vehicle, and you can literally, like, if you're looking at buying cars, you can just look at the cars that you're seeing, and I've, I've looked at it many times. I'm very much a Toyota girl, okay? Um, so, like, I think all the Corollas, like, literally every year for a Toyota is on the, like, best cars list, so I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but just, like, car buying tip. Um, so, sorry. Like, I, this is fine. Like, this is fun to watch. It's just, there's not much to react to. And I, I'm self-conscious because, um, I, wa I saw somebody criticizing that really big YouTuber who I'm not going to say her name, but she does like reaction to TikTok videos. And some guy, some guy who's actually a, like, he calls himself a board engineer, like, cut her video just down to all the silent moments when she's reacting so now like I watched that yesterday and so now I'm doing this and I'm like I don't want to do that like I don't want to be silent and just have it like basically I'm just watching this video like that's not you know ethical I guess <laughs> okay let's go <laughs> What's that sound? I'm a Toyota technician. Let me see if I can get this thing figured out. Oh my gosh, it's brand new. Why is it making that? What'd they do to it? Sounds fine to me. That sounds awful. Toyota says they always try to make them easy to drive. Is that really a 2016 Toyota Corolla? I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't look 2016 to me, but why would it be making that noise? Like they got a trick. You got to nuance them. Now that's a car. That's one heck of an automobile, friends. The Germans, the Americans, you know, they can build, they can build a moped. <laughs> that was, I love, that was funny. Um, 
I like cigarette humor, which is a one re like that's one reason I'm like a fan of Nick. You know, like I I love it's like cigarette humor. I gotta trust him to build a moped. This right here, Toyota, hundred percent. Nothing like a Miata. Oh, like a Miata, you don't know where it's from. I like that color. I really like that blue a lot, but um, I remember um, Miata, Mazda Miatas are the first time I ever heard somebody describe a car as feminine. Like, I've actually had on two separate occasions, two different people from two different regions, mind you, of the United States, okay? So this, there's, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But I've two different times, um, a guy was like, Oh yeah, Mazda Miata. Yeah, that's a feminine car. Like I, I like for the life of me, like you know, it was like I, I wasn't, we, I wasn't looking at one. But then the next time I like looked at one, I was like, I, I can see it. Like it, I can see it. You know, I can see it. But like, it's also just like. I've never heard someone call a car feminine in my life. I know that sounds crazy, especially for this time, but I feel like people didn't really use masculine and feminine, at least not in my life that much. So yeah, that's my fun story about Mazda Miatas. It was kind of dumb, but you know. <laughs> I like the interior. I, I love, love, love leather interior, like um, especially in that color. I like that dark, like tan beige leather color um especially in cars you know it's like having a jaguar you know i always wanted a jaguar i thought jaguar was like the height of luxury you know sorry i'm watching like 90s supermodels and like i keep trying to impersonate like an eastern european supermodel and i keep but it's i don't think i'm doing a very good job <laughs> he does look so silly. He does look really silly because he's he's a big man in a little car. You know, <laughs> like it's so cute. <laughs> like his his head goes oh, his head goes over the windshield. This thing is fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's in a little toy car. It's so funny. I was not expecting to like. I don't know. It's like, this is the best part of this video so far. <laughs> Wait, why is the front part held down with bungee cords? Where did they get this car? There he is, my boyfriend, driving our Miata. You know, they said this was a hot little car at the dealership. Oh my gosh, Sam. Can't lie. One hot little car. They were selling me this car. I said, you know what? You're going to look good in that car. It's a hot little car. It's a 2014 Prius. About a Prius? It's a hot little car. Well, I think I might need to fuck this car. <laughs> Ew. It's kind of insane, like, how much power he has over the vehicle. You know what I mean? Like, um... He's strong, you know, like, he's a very strong man. I don't, I'm sorry, I'm trying to detract. I might edit this out. Like, this is so inappropriate. It as much as it did, but it did. Wait, cut by BPL. He did a better cut, and I fucked it up. I like that uh, a bit, sorry. Songs are Rock by Cogna Square on BHK. Um, yeah, Now by Alex Bowles. I'll go to SoundCloud. I wonder if that guy is still around. MC Cool Ice 80 rap. <laughs> Y'all are funny. So. Oh, he left that on the screen. Normally they don't do that. I feel like they just flash it. And then you gotta pause to read it. Sometimes you conquer the hill. Sometimes the hill conquers you. But when you're in a Dodge journey, you're in style and comfort the whole time. <laughs> I really liked that. I thought that was good. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll get back to watching World Peace. Um, I did episode one and two um, before doing the reactions. So, but yeah, um, love you guys. Um, I will see you next Wednesday. Thanks.